entirely sure of that whatsoever. Regardless, going into game one, they're going to be starting on PS2. Stage, you know, that favors both of these characters fairly well, I'd like to say. Yes, yes indeed. This almost looks like a button check in the way they're playing but at the start there. but They're just feeling each other out, yeah. getting a couple of straight hits here and there. And of course, you can't really connect anything off of down tilt at such a low percent, but I still respect Utopia and Raven going for it, because who knows, what if King Ark wanted to jump? Exactly. So, King Ark is going to use his tools here, play aggressively, because he can't, you know, properly zone against Palutena, he doesn't want to. Yeah. You don't want to give her like any edge to like, run in there, hit you, find out your patterns, and then start running stocks off you just because she got like a straight hit. Yep. And the Leaf Shield is such an interesting tool because all it really is now is just damage. It used to be a lot more potent at the beginning of Ultimate, but now all it does is really, really good damage. And if you are getting like hit by it, just hold it. And if you're not getting hit by it, just hold shield. Or reflect it if you have that option. True, but true. there's no reason to try to contest that whatsoever. I really like he, the way he covers the ledge crash bomb, mm -hmm. just to recover. Just to give himself some time to think there. Like, Mega Man has a good job of covering, like, late. Late enough to throw people off. Yeah, absolutely. The crash bomb does such a great job of... It also I, it hits the opponents above the ledge, but um, it just basically, like, checks them. You can't come down for the ledge to a back hit, which is a Palutena, which is like something that Palutena goes for especially. Ooh, um, all the hits in there are still not killing because it's so heavy. Oh, we got tossed. Oh, that one disappeared right from the ledge entirely. That was unfortunate. Ooh, back that's throw. looking like a back throw, but no, not fortunately close not. Yes, sir. And wow. shot. That down Snipe. Wow, I'm so surprised about that F smash. He just like such a perfect <laughs> read on the fact that Ray was gonna jump in. Oh, with dash attack on the platform, didn't die for it because he's so heavy. Look at him. He's yeah, so Mega Man is boy. ridiculously heavy. And but he is not so heavy that he would connect the down tilt to forward at 160 percent. Oh my! Mega Man's weight is so clutch right now. I've never seen that before. Where he's just like. He, he puts the leaf shield on, and as he's hitting him with it, he drags him off stage with it. That was cool. Yeah, I mean, King Arc is doing a fantastic job, and at 180%, everything from this point forward is, like, really, really good extra credit on his part. Smoke. All right, that's fine. You, you build up a good enough lead from that last side. 87%, mm -hmm. which is not just a good lead, it's a fantastic lead. So it's like two hits and Palutena dies. But According to what you have roadmapped out here, but at the same time, you have to watch out and not let her play her game. You get to zone her out here. And I'm actually really surprised that the Metal Blade didn't connect onto Palutena there. But right now, King Lake is doing a fantastic job of just like playing patiently. Right now, he has a lead. He is playing back. He's not overextending too much. But as soon as they say that, he overextends with a dash grab that does not get blown up for it. It's fine. It's just like a light touch on the, on the head. Oh! Okay, yep. now, if you didn't have that directional air dodge, you would have died, but... <laughs> yeah, directional Luckily, air dodge... a different game. <laughs> ...does so much for characters with previously linear recoveries, especially in 4 when you had Sonic and you had uh, Mega Ooh. Man. They really, really struggled to, like, get back on meaningful ways, that but... That was unfortunate. He got set up into that. Because he couldn't go low, because he was going to get spiked. And he had to yeah. eat the, the flame. So he had to go high and then get punished for that. Like, and he's very linear when he goes high. But, but King, King Ark still bring it back. He's good. Yep. Um, which is unfortunate considering that, you know, he held a pretty good lead and he died relatively early, I want to say, for Mega Man. Um, I think he spaced that reverse neutral B just to push his body a little bit in front of the explosive flame so that he wouldn't take the hit. And if that was intentional, I think that was really, really brilliant. Hmm. Just to shift his momentum a little bit, too. True. Now... Both players are doing a, a solid job of uh, trying to get their hits in, you know, walling each other out, but... That was weird. Oh, no! That's bad. Yeah. That's so bad. But he's not going to die for it quite yet. Optimal punish, like, normally people would go for something like get-up attack, but it's up smash. It has so much lag. Just going to go for the drop-down forward. Uh. So the Leash Shield is still working out for him. He just had that one bad moment where he went off stage with it and then yeah. just took damage. Could have died, but just... The damage is fine. As long as you're alive, you're good. You can take this back. Mm -hmm. One good follow-up off of Metal Blade could take the stock right now. So, Jen has to be careful. He has to use his tools against him. 
Yeah, and Mega Man's still going to be living for quite a while. Um, oh! Ooh. He thought that the Metal <laughs> Blade would Mega pop Man. him up a little bit. <laughs> Auto doing some quick little damage. Palutena oh, no said, if people boob up. It's fine. Oh, the last uh, hit! And it takes the stock. Wow. Caleb had the right idea. He was maneuvering himself around He's it. Like, he didn't burn his resources. He didn't want to burn an air dodge. He didn't want to burn a jump or anything. He just wants to make sure he could get back onto stage with as many resources as possible left. But he unfortunately miscalculated the um, the drift. Heavy enough to die to Explosive Flame at the last hit. Palutena, the queen of last hit kills. Same. But... If it happens. You played. You played super well. Keep that same like composure and momentum that you took in game one, and just be, you know, in the lead more here. Like, don't let her. Yeah. But you just see like you help you today. Actually, struggle to get like a lot of like the traditional Palutena follow-ups. True. Because Kanga really positions himself towards the edge of the stage to the point where like. Utopia Nui just doesn't have the physical space to get all the platform extensions he wants. Oh wow, like, oh my god. King Ox advantage shit is absolutely ridiculous. Really nice ledge to back here. Ooh, and the, the crash bump with oh, the... oh my god, I thought he got it. I thought he got it. <laughs> that, was a, that was almost the almost, chef kiss. Almost, man. You know what? Like, <laughs> man. Oh, did you see how much percentage he got off that Z drop there? I, I mean, Z drop, uh. You know, Metal Blade? Blade does a lot. Yeah. That was. I can't even tell you how much, but all I know is it's a significant amount. And I love that from King Hunt because when you throw a Metal Blade onto somebody's shield, it has so much shield stun that Utopia Ray mistimed his out of shield option, and thus King Hunt was able to land with a four leader on it. And now, this is a very, very even game right now. Really nice to reflect on the Crash Bomber, making sure he's not going to get set up into Ooh. anything. Kill the grab. This is fine for King Hunt. He's in a good enough spot where he doesn't have to overcommit. And gets things like that. Oh my god, the very tip of that back air. That back air is so fast. It's either like frame 6 or frame 7 if I'm not mistaken. See, like, because you have to consider the tools both... Okay, that was good. You have to consider the tools both characters have when they're both at mid-range. Because Mega Man yes. can kill you with the toss middle blade to back air, while Palutena has explosive flame and counter. Yep. King Ark knew that situation was going to go in his favor and got the kill for it, but... Toby and Ray took it back, and now it's back to even again for both players. He's got to move, maneuver himself away, like from Utopian Ray. Oh my Ray. God! They're just juggling the metal yeah. blade between them. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like they're going in a little weird circle. I'm neutral here. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. This is pretty interesting play right here. Nice down in. The follow -ups. Oh my God! Such a good follow up on the crash probably. And right now he is That's just looking. Like, the way that King Ark is able to hold his stage control is really, really, like, patient as well. Like, even when he had, like, the percent deficit, like, you like you just saw him, like, pressuring Utopian Ray to stay in the corner so that he would be able to set up an advantage state a little that bit later. That is so sick. You're just, you're just stuck there with that, with that crash bomb still on you. You gotta hold that mm. hard knuckle, the crash bomb, and um, I don't know about that one. That one was unfortunate, though, but, like, that was good pressure by uh, King Ark. The DI for... was unfortunate on the back backfield as well. Oh, he could have died there. Oh. Almost. Almost. <laughs> Playing a dangerous game, King Ark. Tech in. Oh, my God. The one time that he actually teched in after that. And they'll smash out the shield. Perfect. To reset yourself. And the reason why Crash Bomber was so... Oh, my God. That was actually... Made it the counter twice. He did it twice. What? Yeah, not gonna not gonna be able to find much off of it. I'm not entirely sure about the intentions of that um, of that explosive flame. Perhaps he was thinking of doing a B reverse auto radical just in case he was turned around by the pallets or something. I'm liking how fast King Arc is with Mega Man. This is like pretty interesting to see here. Oh wow! Yep, the multi hits are close enough together that if you parry the first one, the others will follow suit. Oh, okay. So that was supposed to be patched out, but there's still a couple of things. Looks that cool though. <laughs> like, oh, oh, it doesn't okay. just look cool, it's sick. Down throw, back air. Whoa. Ah. Oh, good games. So, down throw with Palutena, the kill percent is like a really interesting thing. Some characters, they benefit from the eyeing in depending on the weight and depending on the model because while you're like DIing in, not only does that set you up for good DI later on, but that also just like helps out making sure you're not that close to the edge of the stage. While maybe with Mega Man, DIing out would be optimal just to perhaps avoid the back out of the down throw. 